back, friends. It's your buddy Tactical. Today I'm going to do a vid on could you use a butcher knife for a survival knife? Let's find out. Okay, just to give you a close up what I'll be using today. Uh, what the hell is it called? It's called a Serco Stainless, whatever. So I guess that's the company. I have no freaking clue. Uh, bought Mama a new set of butcher knives and shit for Christmas. So I'm like, yo, let me have your old ones. I'm going to go outside and beat the shit out of them. She's like, sure. <laughs> so we're going to see if we can use this thing for a survival knife. This is, uh, I got a couple offer, but this is one of the thicker ones. It does have a 90 degree spine. So let's try this thing out. Well, let's see if we can make some sparks with that 90 degree spine. I think it's going to do it. I could be wrong. Oh, there it is. Nice. So it is a sharp 90 degree spine on there. It's funny. Oh yeah, it's actually throwing really good sparks. Wow. It's funny, you can see how it like burnt it a little bit. Nice. Now this is used so it ain't totally sharp or nothing, but let's see how it does anyways. Do some small push cuts. Oh wow, this is gonna since it's such a thin geometry, it's gonna friggin' wow. Wow. That's nice, just some light push cuts. Now we're gonna try to bury it. This is kind of a wide piece too, so. Wow, actually, yeah. This thing is like burying very good. All right. <laughs> Wow, look at them chips. <laughs> Fucking butcher knife. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Let's see what kind of hammer stabs we can do with this thing. Now the blade sticking out like that is like a hilt, so that, that should be pretty safe. Boy. The wood's a little wet too, so it might just sink right in. Yep. Boy, it's sinking in good. Now one thing I can tell you already, is how that shape I know this ain't meant for but we're seeing if it can do stuff right that does hurt a little bit wow it sinks in like a mofo though a couple thrusting stabs yeah I was thinking that too if that hurt my pinky in a hammer stab it's gonna hurt my index finger on uh, saber stabs and yes it is but it is doing it Stop being such a puss, Tack. I know. I gotta eat my Wheaties and shit. Ow. Try some downward chops with this thing. Now, it ain't got a lot of mass because it is thin, but what the hell, right? It is sharp enough, let me tell you what. Yeah, no mass, really. It's hard to get to generate power. Now, this is an eight inch blade, which is a decent size, but it's thin. But it is working, just not great. Next, we'll do some chopping with it. Now, this is super dead, as you can tell, but yeah, not so hot. <laughs> not so hot. Yeah, just not enough power, not enough mass. And one good thing about it is it is perfectly balanced right there at the bolster. I can get it to go. Figures, I dropped it, but it is. I, I tested it earlier. Sorry about that. Yeah. Just not enough mass for chopping. I'll try chopping on this little bit bigger one. This is a standing dead, so it should be more dense. And instead of so squishy. Yeah. Yeah, no power. Definitely not. Even doing like a three finger action. Now we'll do a little bit of a toning as well. Now it is a full flat grind and usually those work good for batoning. Now there is a couple knots right there, right where I'm going at. I didn't really pay attention, but that's okay. It's a good test, right? Since it's a thin geometry, this might just chip it out. I don't know, depends on that steel. I'm not even sure what kind of steel this is. So, I can't tell you that. Okay, so far so good. Uh, another knotty piece. Yep. 
because full flat grinds work really well for splitting. So it is doing that. Whoops, miss. Yeah, it's doing it. Just because I need more firewood, I'm going to do this full piece, about four and a half feet, four and a half inch piece. You see, compared to the eight inch blade. It is dead, but we'll see if it'll do it. Uh -oh. This might be too much for this baton and knife. Oh yeah, I just broke my baton, damn it. It's time to get brutal. Since I don't care about this thing, break it, whatever. And it is a test, that's what this is. We're gonna baton it the brutal way, metal to metal. I advise never to do that, whoa! The shock wave. Just the shock broke it. No shit. That's funny. Here, let me get it. Here's the freaking tip. You're not supposed to do metal to metal, but I've done it a bunch. And look at that. Or it was like that. And just from hitting it way back here, ding, shot it off. That's some crazy shit. Since I broke it once, let's break it some more. And I just broke that piece of steel off the end. As you can see, it's wedged down there. Nice. Just to show you, I'm not totally tripping. I've done this before. Here's this piece of shit. $10, it used to be a dagger, and I broke the tang, and then I made it into a knife, whatever. Okay, let's get this thing out first. It's got that freaking knife. So that broke twice. I can't believe the first one was from sh just shock. It wasn't even hitting that part. This part I understood because I was hitting it right there. Now that's in there. And you know what? We're going to leave it in. We're going to take this, go on the other side. And like I said, I've done this before. Let's see if this one breaks. I have done this a bunch to this piece of crap. And it's never broken. Wow, that's tough to hit though. This has got a lot of knots in it. A lot of knots. And I'm freaking hitting that hard. Damn. Look at that mofo, man. And that still hasn't split. And you see that's kind of rotten too. The only thing I'm worried about is I got a watch on. I'm hoping the shock don't fuck up my watch. There it goes, finally. Well, kind of, hold on, a little bit more. There it is. But look how many times I've hammered this, and this is shitty frickin' surgical stainless steel. You can see all the dents. And this one's actually thicker at the base than this by a little bit, but then it tapers really, well, it did taper really quick, but yeah. So, maybe you can't use this for a survival knife. So, the short answer. Can you use a butcher knife for a survival knife? Uh, that would be a negative. Yeah, I did use metal on metal. But, like I said, even that piece of shit has taken it for about three years of me doing crap like that. Something cool. Check this out real quick. Watch this. I was just messing around. It's like, it's magnetized or something. Look at that shit. Isn't that fucked up? <laughs> I was like, what the hell? I was trying to put them close to each other, and it's like, boop. And they started sticking together and shit. Look at that. Isn't that funky? Well, anyways, but yeah. Check it out. Oh, man. That's like a cool custom knife. Anyways, uh, yeah, I wouldn't try to use one for a survival knife. Not that I ever would, but I, it was just for fun to see if you could even use one. And it kind of worked. It didn't chop with the shit. It was batoning good until, ding. But yeah, look at that shit. That's fucking magnetized. That's dope. But yeah, so uh, hopefully this was enjoyable and shit like that. <laughs> A little bit of entertainment, whatever, right? Thanks for stopping by. Until the next time we meet.